He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is the T20 Veterans League 2021 in the Craig 19 game. Here we have the table. Top four goes through the next round. And so here are the highest run scorers of the regular season. We're going to take a look at the highest wicket takers in a second as well. And here we go. Here are the playoffs. So today we have Central Stacks taking on Lancashire Lightning. Who's going to win? Let me know in the comments down below. Coach for the Lancashire Lightning is Luke. Coach for Central Stacks is James. Both will be in the comments down below. If you're unsure how the teams are made, check out the description box and also click on the eye icon in the top right corner. That will take you to the draft video to explain the rules as well. Here we go. Coin toss Kane. Oh, David Warner to fight this one out. Heads it is. Kane Williamson have won the toss. Now keep in mind Central Stags, James's and Kane's boys have not lost a game yet. Shane and Gabriel to open the bowling for the Central Stags. It'll be Martin Guptill to face the first delivery. He tries to smash it but misses like he has been pretty much the entire season. It's not been a great time for him. Oh, there he goes. Straight to the field. And Martin Guptill is gone now he was in a great form in the last game he actually scored 100 i think the entire season he was very bad martin guptill and in the last game when lancashire really needed to win that game he stepped up and uh, well he gave lancashire the victory single-handedly i would say that but here again we see the old martin guptill he's gone for a duck tommy mcball comes in next yep it's a lovely shot into the gap from David Warner, the skipper, plays that one lovely. Yep, yep. Thick edge, but luckily for Tommy Wick, well, it's out of the gap and it'll be four runs. They've lost an early wicket, but they've got plenty of batting still to come. Yep. Lovely into extra cover, David Warner goes. Picks up yet another boundary. All right, looks good so far. Looks like they're gonna recover. Well, they are recovering. There he goes again. Amir I mean, Akbal will pick up another boundary area. He's gone a bit slow. It's taken him six deliveries. Oh no, not a great delivery. Not a great delivery at all. I Amir mean, Akbal will take that all day, every day. And he's made the most of it like you'd expect him to. Uh-oh. Not a great shot. He might be in trouble. I think he is. I think that might be the end of David Warner. That was just poor. Un... What, why? No, that's not David, sorry. I always get this confused. David Warner is the one who played the delivery, so it has to be the other guy who got out. Tammy Mekwal is the one who's in trouble here. And I, uh, he's in more than trouble because he's gone. He's out of the U to the T. He's out. Gone. That's it. No more. Lester Cook, the legend, comes in next. Shot, lovely. Goes over uh, mid-off. First runs of the day for Cook. Off a boundary. Only his third delivery. And there he goes again. All right, Cook is taken on the charge now. They were recovering well, and then David Warner had to do well what he did, and they lost another wicket. Flicks it over the short mid-wicket. I thought for a second there. Short mid wicket might be in play, but now he won over him. That was a well placed shot from Cook. There he goes again. All right, look at that. Cook normally known for his test feats, but yeah, he's doing really well. 20 of 80, he's gone at well over 200 strike rate at the moment. That's just what Lancashire needed. There goes David Warner. He better get 100 here today. He's got a, his fellow teammate out. He's got to make up for that. Looks all right, though. He's middle that one well. He's found the gap. He's found the boundary. Yep. Good shot. Very good shot. That's much needed. He was uh, lagging behind a bit. Lester Cook did his best, but he needs... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might be a wicket. I think that is a wicket. Oh, that's a really close one. 
think that might be the end of Cook. Let's see. Oof, that's a really close one. I think he's gone, though. Yep, he's gone. Bats on the line, which means out. You have to be inside the line to be in. And he was not. Alastair Cook was looking very dangerous. And that is not good for Lancashire, because David Warner is not looking all that great at the other end. Extremely selfish innings it's turning up from the skipper himself. And Dinesh Karthik's lost his bloody mind. What has he done there? What? What? Now, why has he decided to just run out of the... Just... Oh, man. I don't get it. What is he doing? Like, he pretty much waited for the ball to get to the keeper and then ran. All righty then. So, this is going lovely. <laughs> well, Nabi comes in next. Lovely. That'll be four. Oh, and Nabi gets four runs. He's trying to bring a bit of life into this game, Ahmed Nabi. David Warner at the other end, he really needs to speed this up, mate, or leave. Alright, that's what you gotta do. When you come in, you've gotta come out swinging. You know, in the playoffs. Yep. There it is, that's much better. A couple more of those. Come on. David, you've got it. We all know you've got it, but you've got to apply yourself. You ain't doing that at the moment. Yeah, yep. That's much better. Out of the gap. I'll pick up at least two. That'll be 50 for David Warner. But, um... Let's go do better than that. 50 is not enough. 50, 56 deliveries. What is this, an ODI? Come on, this is AT20. He's got to do a lot better than what he's doing at the moment. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the end of the gap. That's well played. That might go to the boundary for four. I think it will. It has. Lovely. 50 boundary shot between the two. It's good to see. That'll be one. Yeah, just one. 139 they've got, which is a decent... No, it's not, it's not that great of a total, is it? But then again, at the same time, it is Lancashire, so let's not forget they are known for their bowling more than their batting. Although, the last game they played, they won over 200. I think they scored the highest amount of runs ever in this tournament, which is pretty amazing. Now, if you can back that up with the kind of bowling they have, yeah, absolutely, you're going to smash it, but they have not done that. They, they've batted quite poorly, let's be honest, and... Most of the blame goes to the captain himself. I mean, he scored 61, that's great, but he scored of 65 deliveries, and also he's got one of his informed batsmen out. So here we go. Dale to open a bowling. It's just going to be a dot to start things off with. Yes. Zara Lee takes him on. The veterans from Pakistan goes over cover, gets four runs. First runs of the day for Central Stags off a boundary. Straight on, lovely. It's gonna be the inner circle, and four runs he will collect. Eight of four for Azadali. Yep. Brilliant, that'll be four all day, every day. Faf Duplessis joins the party. Gets four runs off the very first delivery he faces. Very positive cricket, aggressive cricket, I love that. The Stags have played brilliant cricket throughout this season, like I mentioned already. The only undefeated side, undisputed so far. And they're looking well set on their way to win this one as well. There he goes again. Faf Duplessis, Francois means business. Double digits he's entered. Azar Ali. No, sorry, it's still Francois. 
I don't know why I thought it was Zazarelli, and it's Francois still. And that'll be another boundary for Central Sags. Good shot, very good shot. That'll be four. Couple of bounces. It's gone. Double digits is entered as well now. Another hook into the gap. That'll be four as well. Both the batsmen. Oh, there you go. See, this is what they were missing. This is what Lancashire is missing, this positive intent. Intent of not being afraid of losing your wicket and moving forwards and getting runs. Oh, that's not a great delivery. That is a very poor delivery. The one thing Lancashire is known for, they're failing at it here. It's their bowling and, well... Oh, well, there he goes, over the top, go over the cover, Faf Duplessis, 26 of 13, goes at 200 striker at the moment. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Shot, shot, that's out of the gap, that's very well played. And that was a very poor delivery as well, that wasn't short enough to be a bouncer, not full enough to be a good length delivery, it was just a crap delivery. All right, now he's given him a bit of room. He's gone over point, and that'll be one bounce over the road for four runs. Francois Douglas, 35, he moves on to. Yes. Oh, lovely into extra cover as the rally goes. 65, their opening partnership moves on to now. Are they going to win it on the opening wicket? It might, I mean, it might happen. Uh oh, top edge. Is that it? Is that it? That is it! Francois, unfortunate, gone for 43, just seven runs short of his 50, unfortunately. And it's the first wicket of the day for Lancashire. Lancashire will be hoping for a couple of quick wickets here. Now, why has he reviewed that one? Come on, he's clearly out with a bat. Yeah, look at that. That's bounced off his bat. Yeah, thick edge right there. I don't understand why he reviewed that one. 43 of 33. Good innings comes to an end. Didn't need to waste that review for his team, though. Oh, wow. Wow, game, you're stupid. They really thought the review was for LBW. Oh, my goodness. Kane Williamson. Next man in. That's a lovely shot. Goes over Meroff and ooh, nearly goes all the way for six. So it won't be the opening stand to get him the win, but... Hey, no, wow. Two balls, two fours. Great start to the game. Puts it on the onside. That'll be four, yep. Kane Williamson, 13 of 4. Uh oh, not a great shot fielder there. It's landed short, he's safe. Uh oh, uh oh. Might be in trouble, is in trouble. That's the end of Kano. Nah, they hesitated. When they went for the second one, they did not commit. And it's just an inch, or well, actually, even less than an inch. But that inch makes such a difference. If you do not hesitate, you can make it up. Yep, you definitely can make that ground if you do not hesitate. That's why you never hesitate in running. If you decide to go for it, even if it's a bad decision, just go for it. Over cover. Deep cover. We'll collect that. That might be a run now. No, it's not. That's very well run in the end. Oh no, that's not a great shot. That is not a great shot. Oh, on 48 as well, he's gone. That's a rally, you're a light to get his half ton, but his 48 is held. Central Stags. Um, it's helped the Stags get into a very comfortable position, and that's really all you can ask for as a coach and as a captain of your players. As a Rashid of Strat. And he's got the all-important wicket of the man who opened the innings. And he's striding along. Sean Marsh is next man in. Uh-oh, that's another wicket. Oh boy, is there a final twist in the tail? Is there a final twist in the tail? Dale 
might want that twist in the tail. I don't know. We'll see. Dennis Karthik takes a lovely catch behind the sticks. That's the end of Sean Marsh. Stags might be on the back foot a little bit, although it's kind of hard to see because the, their brand of cricket is not, you know, to be pushed around. Their brand is to move forward. Oh, lovely. Sound of the gap. Yep, that's four. It's a very good shot there. Mustafa Faraz Ahmed. There he goes again this time. All right, he's winning the fielder again. That's another boundary. That is very good cricket from the uh, Quetta captain. Splashed it on the offside. That'll be four. Oh wow, Sarfar has really taken the wind out of that sail. Brilliant. No, actually not so brilliant because I don't think he's got all of it. There's a fielder coming under it. That might be the end of him. That would have been, but he's dropped the catch. Oh no. Catches win matches, eh? Yep. That's four. That is the end of the game. Central Stags have won. Lancashire is out. The Stags remain undefeated. Into the final they go, having won by six wickets. And it was not a great performance from Lancashire, particularly with a bat. And the Stags, they just finished them off. Player of the match? Absolutely not. I take that back. It's my league, all right? I take it away from David Warner. He does not deserve that. All right, there are the highest run score wicket takers in the regular season. And now we're going to take a look at the playoffs. We've only had one game, so we're not going to have too much, you know, big stats. But there it is, highest run scorer and wicket taker. I think that's what David Warner wanted. He knew their team was going to lose, and so he just decided to go for the, you know, his name on the top, which ended up ca cause, causing, you know, a loss. Mumbai Indians versus Wellington Firebirds will be the second semifinal. And do let me know who do you think is going to win that one. Who's going to go to the final against Central Stags? Do you think Central Stags will remain the undisputed champions by the end of this? It's a very, you know, it's, it can happen. It can happen. Will it, though? I don't know. James, congratulations. Commiserations to Luke. But your team played uh, pretty well to get this far. Not so well in this game, but so far, you know, in this season. You guys did well. You should be proud of your boys. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...